Today I'm cleaning my API Philistar XL that's on my 120 gallon. This has also been running for a year and one month since the last cleaning. This is a spray bar that I set up myself. After I unplug it, the skin says are pretty simple. You just lift up this tab. That's it. That closes the valve and releases hoses all at the same time. This is also, this valve here is also what causes all your leaks when you have water coming in this spot here filling up. It's this valve is your problem. The seals on this valve is what goes bad. Which this canister had that problem, but I fixed it. Just lift it off and put it to the side. This canister I picked up used for 20 bucks because the previous owner, as you can see, siliconed all in there and around the plug because they were having leaks and they didn't know how to fix it. Which these canisters are known to get that issue where it fills up with water in here and this leaks and water comes out the plug right there. For these, you just have four clasps on the corners. Just pop them all up. And lift it off. This one's really dirty. I'll be cleaning this later. Oh yeah, this canister also, it had damaged hair. On the top, I just used acrylic glue and fixed it. On the top, you got this piece here. Now starting from the top, tray number one. really dirty. It has a very dirty poly pad. Some purgin that needs to recharge. Ceramedia. And it looks like a black sponge underneath. Get out my Ceramedia. It has a fine black sponge right here. So I'll give that a cleaning. As well as clean out my tray. A little bit. There, this tray is clean. I'm going to squeeze out my black sponge. Put it back in there. my Ceramedia back in. Alright, the Ceramedia is clean and sponged back in. We'll put this to the side. Next up in the canister we have a blue pad and matrix no pad in the bottom. So this pad's not even that bad, so I'm just gonna wash it out, rinse it, and then clean it and reuse it. Let me fill up this tray a little more. So I could dump my matrix. It's already pretty clean. This is CCAM matrix. And put it to the side. The blue pad is clean, so I'm going to put it back in the tray that it goes in, right on top of the matrix. This is the next tray, and we have some filter floss that needs to replace, and 
Baki balls. So I'm just gonna keep the Baki balls. I dip. I make it easy to clean these because I just I would put the pads on the top so I don't have to take the biomedia out of the trays so it makes it easier for me. This is good. Just gotta replace the pad later. The next tray. thick extra fine sponge on top filter floss and then a little bit coarser medium sponge in the bottom so let me clean up those sponges and I just gotta make sure I put a piece of floss back in. Coarser, medium sponge is clean. So let me put that back. This is clean now. I just gotta cut a floss later for this one. Not that dirty as you see. These sponges weren't that dirty. Floss does most of the work. And that's it. The canister's empty. Clean out the canister. Give the canister a quick quick brushing. And then spray down. Now it's time to start putting everything back together. Let me cut a piece of floss to put on top of this. I'm just gonna estimate it. It's a square. So I'm gonna cut out a piece. Put it back in there. Now I put my really thick fine sponge back in. The bottom sponge came with the canister and the floss and the thick sponge are mine. Now this just goes back in there. And that's stage one. Now I need to cut another pad to go on top of the bacteria house balls. I'm gonna put this in there. And this is the second tray going in. Third tray doesn't need anything. This is matrix with a blue pad on top. And the fourth tray just needs another piece of filter floss. The filter floss I'm using is this Morning Glory fiber fill from Walmart. I'm not putting the pyrogen back in because it needs to recharge. So I'll recharge them and put them to the side and probably open the canister in another month and just throw them right on top in this top tray. Now this goes back in there. This grid goes on top of that. A little dirty. Clean this up a little bit. That's back in there to clean the housing. This 
just twist lock down there. Pull that up. Don't lose your rubber. And clean this up. This is clean now. I'm going to pull out my impeller. And give this a quick cleaning. It's the impeller shaft. This has a steel shaft. Make sure it's clean. You have your rubber piece still in the bottom there, so make sure if that falls out, you don't lose it. Give this a quick scrubbing. Everything is cleaned up here. Use a regular Q tip to clean the sealer right here. and along the edge here to see we'll put some grease some silicone grease on the q-tip and put it apply it to the seals and for the other seal We apply it around here. I'm also going to put some grease on the top lip of the canister going all around with my hand. Our shaft has a lot of rust buildup on it so I'm just going to use a fine scuff pad to clean the rust off so it spins better. The shaft looks clean now and there's no rust on it anymore. Put some silicone grease on the shaft to protect it from rusting. Keep it lubricated to reduce the wear on it. Put a little bit of grease on my magnet and put my shaft back in the pump. Just push it back in there. Then put the magnet back in. Grab your top, push it down, and twist lock it to the right. And that's it, that's locked in there. The canister's all clean. The pump is serviced and the pump is cleaned and ready to go. So now I'm gonna fill it up with water. How this filter works is it sends the water down the sides and up through the tray, starting from the bottom, going up and back out. The canister is full now. So I'm gonna put the top back on. Clamp it down. And get it back into the cabinet. Before I put the canister back in, I'm gonna make sure this is greased up good. There's still old grease on it that's still good, so I'm just gonna rub the grease that's already on there around. And that's good. On these canisters, what fails is if you take off these two screws, there's an O-ring underneath here that goes bad. Or it might just be dry. And if you lubricate it with silicone grease, it'll last longer. Your problem has nothing to do with the lid. When your canister is leaking water out the plug, it's that valve there. You just replace that valve for like $16 and you're good. Or try looping the O-rings and see if that can fix it. So the canister is back in position. You just slip this in there. Push it down. Then push your lever real quickly. So it locks in and doesn't leak. This canister does not have a priming feature. So, you have to make sure you fill it. I custom made spray bar. Now I'm going to be 
plugging it in and seeing if it primes. The canister is about fully primed now. Still has a little bit of air in it. It's been about three minutes. There are no leaks. There are no leaks in the handles. And it's running good. I put all my canisters in a cheap dish tray. The canister is not as quiet as it could be because the impeller shaft is a little worn. It wasn't well maintained by the previous owner. All it really needs is just a new shaft for the impeller and it should make it quiet, quieter, but it's pretty quiet.